The car chase is fake, dismissing Megan and Harry's conspiracy theory in the car chase that never happened. I'm just throwing out this little conspiracy theory so I thought about the whole mess. It was the parade from top to bottom. New York's busiest streets are just trying to capture it. We all know it was staged by Mark and Scooby and too bad for them. Their best plans fell through. Spectacular and I thought why. I mean, maybe it's just that they're probably incompetent, but I'm also curious. Maybe there was an outside source that deliberately messed things up for them, perhaps some were happy with them in the past and sought revenge. We already know they haven't made many friends, but who in their recent past had the connections to do this kind of damage to them? Well, if you want the answer, you might have to look inside the car. So Doria didn't seem too concerned about the whole situation. Harry looked enraged and stared at his phone, and then Megan obviously had that smile on her face, now, Harry, I truly believe he's being stalked by the narcissist like Megan. They love the mayhem they cause, so I think that's why Megan seemed thrilled when Punch and Megan obviously got a meaningless award. Not exactly the Oscar he dreamed of, completely irrelevant. Attention seeker, trying to be interesting to someone, anyone? That's who Meghan Markel is in a nutshell that I don't think it's something that just one person can accomplish, so I thought who the hell could it be? So I started asking around, I asked and there was a name that kept being mentioned and the name I heard. Of course, I cannot verify that this is true. I mean, maybe they were laughing at me, but it made a lot of sense to me. They had a little run-in with the extraordinary privacy spoilers. They struggled to get their money and ended up making a bad impression due to Harry's mistakes and their own actions. So, could it be that Sunlight is actually involved in all of this? You know what they say. Revenge is a dish best served golden and I only wish the best people would give this whole debacle the green light. So could it be that they are behind the whole setup and this golden security guy knows all about it? But of course they ruined everything that IT didn't go as well as they thought it would now. The taxi driver. Claimed that one of them was shooting. Of course it was also for Netflix obviously so they can use it as evidence for this upcoming court case because they're so desperate to get IPP status back but there's no idea that they might be involved. Now I don't have much respect for sunbags anymore. I mean, they played a part in this whole mess from the start that I in fact, I probably shouldn't even insult them in case they come up to me and claim I insulted them, unless of course they want to admit that they really played a part in this. Harry and Meghan are two assholes though. I mean, they're so dishonorable. Are a couple of. They get angry, they are bossy, they have no manners and are so disrespectful to everyone, not to mention mistreating animals, pets, families and people. Their families covered up some of their worst behaviors, like giving a cat grapes because they knew it would make it sick or sticking a classmate's eyes out and nearly blinding her. His father tried to cover up the evidence by investing money for his mistakes and trying to cover up his crimes and Harry is very much the same. His poor polo pony had those BLO. S from which Harry used his spurs to dig into the poor guy and he died. Harry is already known for abusing women, animals, families and friends and now we see these two all proud of their rewards for being such wonderful people, they were recognized and proudly wore their badges. They wore masks of kindness, but beneath all that deception lurked a cold-blooded serpent. I believe they have always had these characteristics, but these characteristics have been hidden for the sake of the family members. How embarrassing for each of them. They haven't changed. They're not better people, they just stink of mistakes, failures and hypocrisy. They were always talking about saving the world, talking to veterans, getting money for charity by only working an hour a year, spending a lot of money. They don't have to steal things of value and lie and cheat and blame everyone but themselves, because let's remember, they're still the innocent victims and all. No, just like a leopard cannot change its spots. These two will never change their badness like a pair of snakes. They know how to stalk their prey, they hide from their prey. They hide in the shadows. They look from afar, but also closely and sit until they see an opportunity. And then they will spring into action and take the prey from their side. 
Their fathers allow their loved ones to conquer and divide by spending money on their crimes without any real responsibility for their adult children, and they will never change thanks to these codependents within each of their families. But anyway, in a separate story, so-called environmentalist Meghan Markle, who spent more than $1 million on fashion in her first year as royals and who doesn't s is never presented in the same outfit again, ever again. The woman who has definitely not been a role model for girls who are interested in fashion because she basically teaches them. You can wear it once or wear it. It's never clothes they just bought on a whim. There are many parents who have not yet taken care of their children who are over 30 and no longer children, people who cannot afford rent will certainly not buy their own property due to their reliance on spending and using credit cards that will eat up their entire pension when they retire. Some people admit that they don't even need to buy a house because eventually they will inherit their parents' house. If Mega wants to be a role model for young people, maybe he should start recycling his clothes like Princess Catherine does. The princess and two and the late queen always did. Take a look at how many clothes end up in landfills. There's a very good reason Catherine decided to rent her dress for the Boston Earth Shot Awards presentation. She doesn't want to be a hypocrite. Catherine is not haughty. You see, he will wear something more than once. People need to learn to shop less and appreciate the clothes they make and let's remember, the new is not always the best, in fact the best. Question probably the one you've had the longest. It's true that they don't make clothes like they used to. I recently pulled out a 10-year-old tailored jacket and remember buying it at a fashion chain for $25. Originally there were five zero dot so, I bought one of each color to wear as a work jacket they are satin they are really cute and you know if I were to buy it today I'm sure it would be around 150 bucks or less now when it comes to Megan and Catherine. The two couldn't be more different, even their body types are incredibly different. Catherine is slim and beautiful and looks great in everything. She has a great sense of fashion and it suits her well. He always looks perfect. Like many other women in the public eye. I guess she has a stylist or fashion team, but her look always looks natural and effortless. But Megan, on the other hand, needs to figure out what works for her. She needs to dress the body she actually has rather than the body she would so much rather see if she had a team to help her. I think they call it a glam team like the real housewives, stylist, seamstress, and hair and makeup artist. They could do a lot to help him look better every time I see Catherine make an appearance. My jaw just dropped because she still looks amazing. But with Megan, I always say what is this woman doing? Megan doesn't have a standard body type and that's fine. Me neither, but that also means he needs more help, she needs a personal professional seamstress, but Megan is a narcissist, so it doesn't matter what a professional advises her. He always knows best and will insist on doing things his way. That explains the ill-fitting outfit, including that wedding dress and I think Megan had a glam squad at one point. He probably fired most of them. Either way, if there's someone still around, it's clearly not working for her, what a nightmare to be Megan's stylist anyway. You can imagine that you will never listen to anyone and certainly not to people. He hired to help him. She is so full of herself. She thinks she knows everything she's wearing. That's the truth, it's not the other way around, and she's not overweight. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her body, but she just doesn't know how to dress well for her body type. Why is he always wearing that bulky thing? And just one last note Catherine looks flawless, just like all the other royal women over the years wear their dresses again, and then we have Meghan who never looks good. She's still a walking disaster and there's obviously a real difference between Catherine's and Mag's body types, but surely Megan can look in the mirror before stepping out just to see if everything is okay and stylist if she has one? Let it out like that.